New shocking statements made to first responders by accused face-biting murder suspect Austin Harriff. In one of those statements, Harriff revealed he, quote, smoked weed and drank alcohol. CBS 12's Israel Balderas is digging through the newly released documents. He joins us live tonight at the Martin County Jail with more. Israel? Yeah, pretty damning evidence contained in these court documents. Now, we're outside the Martin County Jail where Austin Harriff waits uh, for his day in court. And when that happens, all the stuff that is in here can and will be used against him. All right, rescue, what's your address? Young man beating up a woman across the street. That's DeQuesta resident Jeff Fisher on the phone with 911. He's out of breath and pleading with dispatchers after trying to stop a young man from attacking his neighbors, John Stevens and Michelle Mishcon. There's a girl laying on the ground. He beat her up. Fisher is one of 235 individuals the prosecutor in Austin Harriff's double murder trial lists in this court document as a potential witness in the case. And according to a discovery exhibit filing with the court, that includes statements made by Austin when he was arrested, allegedly telling deputies, quote, kill me now. I deserve to die, end quote. I'm deeply sorry for what my son did to those people. Any admission regarding the case, like this one made by Harris' father, Wade, on the Dr. Phil show, will be used against his son. And the most damning evidence allegedly comes from Harris himself, who told a Martin County deputy, quote, please help me. I know I ate bad things, end quote. The prosecutor plans to call two people to the stand that will testify that when asked what he ate, worried that perhaps Harris took a dangerous drug, the answer several times was, I ate, quote, humans. He would never knowingly do something like that. We're back out live. Now I spoke with a former prosecutor who says this is part of a strategy because these statements show Harif to be lucid, expressing remorse. Now so far his attorney has only introduced a plea of not guilty, but if a defense of insanity is later introduced, well, these statements would argue otherwise. Reporting live in Stewart, I'm Israel Balderas, CBS 12 News.